Should you use practice exams in your FE study strategy? How will they even help? These are the questions that we get from students at the beginning of their FE journey, and I'm here to tell you that taking practice exams can increase your chances of passing the FE if used effectively. In this video, we're going to discuss two key ways on how to use the practice exams effectively to feel confident, prepared, and ready to pass your FE. Oh yeah, everybody now. Practice exams are proven to be the most effective learning techniques. Why is that? Well, when you take a practice exam, it helps you recall or retrieve what you know. So you get the information out of your memory. By doing that, you reinforce what you know, which will help you remember the information during your exam. You will also be able to determine which concepts you don't fully understand, and that way you can spend a little bit more time on those concepts before you take your exam. Now, here are two key ways on how to use the practice exam effectively. First key, use the practice exam as a checkpoint, non endpoint. Periodically, throughout your FE journey, schedule a practice exam day. Time block a full day for a practice exam instead of studying. Now, if you're wondering how to set up your practice exam space, check out this video here next. A lot of students would take a practice exam just a week before their test. And if you do that and score low, that can be discouraging and you might go into the exam not feeling confident. So instead, what you can do is just take a practice exam maybe once a month and just see how you do. You don't even have to take the whole thing because I know that can be hard sometimes, especially if you have family and you work full time. So just set up a couple of hours on one weekend, take the exam and just see how you do. This can refresh your memory on what you've already covered and also to make sure that you actually understand the concepts and it can also prepare you for the topics that you'll be covering soon. One of our students, Rosa, used the practice exams as a study strategy, but she found it difficult to carve out five to six hours in one day to take the practice exam. So instead, she broke it up over a week. If you want to learn more about Rosa and how she used the practice exam as a study strategy, check out her video here. And if you guys want more problems to practice, Take this free quiz here and just see where you're at with your FE preparation. The questions are very common FE problems and it should take you about 15 minutes. Once you complete it, then I walk you through a step-by-step -step solution. So make sure to check it out. The second key is learn from your mistakes and restudy your weak points. When you use the practice exam as a checkpoint, it gives you time to work on the problems and the concepts that you got wrong. So keep track of those problems, go back and restudy the concepts to truly understand them and not just memorize them. Also, it's easy to study what we already know. It makes us feel confident, but that's not what's going to help you pass your FE exam. So make sure that you work on your weaknesses. The other thing that you guys need to remember is that it's very important that you take practice exams that are relevant to the FE. So the question is, which practice exams should you take? Well, we already talked about that in this video here. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are currently studying for your FE and feeling stuck with the study material that you have, make sure to check out our courses where we simplify the concepts, provide step-by-step -step solution to over a thousand problems and we cover the exact material that you need to pass your FE. All our courses are lifetime access so that you can take the time to study at your own pace and pass faster with the engineer method. Now, before you go, make sure to check out this video here where I talk about how much you should score on a practice exam. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,